trying to get this 372 XP big bore a little bit better, get a bit more pop into her. So if you don't know, you can fit a 272 XP pop-up piston. You have to do a bit of messing about because they're about 40 thou taller. But I'm just doing some weighing. So this is the 372 XP piston, rings and wrist pin, 96 grams. If we take those off. And then we put the other, the big bore piston that was on there, 111 grams. This of course is a windowed piston because it's for a uh, transfer ported, you know, the transfer ports on a 372 or 272 are different. But yeah, quite a big saving there. So 111 for the old setup. 95 so 16 grams that's a lot so i've just made up i've just put it all together and it does bang the head even though there's 40 thou squish with this old piston in um if i put that piston in it does bang the head so i've just made up a thick gasket it's about a 30 thou gasket that so i'm just gonna dry build it now and see if we get a head banger or not hopefully not well, I don't know if you're going to be able to hear this, guys, but this is the noise something makes when you set it up with the squish too tight. You can just hear the piston kissing the top of the cylinder. You can hear that metallic tap that um, if I just undo this a tiny little bit, And I undo this one a tiny little bit, will have gone. So just a few turns undoing those. And that metallic tap as the piston come up comes up has gone. So let's see where she's tapping. Don't know if you can see there, but there is just a little bit of black. Just there, just where it was kissing the top of the cylinder. So just measured my gasket, and that is it's a 23 thou gasket I've made there. So I've got some other thinner gasket material. So let's make a slightly thicker gasket and uh, come back when we've done that. Okay, so she's all back together now not banging the head anymore because i put a thicker gasket in let's just check this squish just check this for you what is this so yeah right in that sweet spot for this size of saw 26 thou pinch that down to 20 for a sort of 60 cc saw but 76 cc this is so mid 20s is a great squish number for this let's see how she is when all bolted back together okay guys well she came all back apart put the ring in um sealed her all up put everything back in um exhaust back on filter back on filter cover back on now comes the exciting bit will she run hey guys genuinely let's see if she runs
Well, there you go, guys. Um, a big bore, 372XP, 52mm, with a 272XP pop-up piston in. Bit of a thicker base gasket. Yes, the right way to do it is if I had a lathe just to cut a little bit off the top of the piston. Um, but yeah, she seems to run and she does seem to run better than she did with whatever piston it was. Remember, this is a really cheap, this was a, this was a cheap Chinese kit to start with. Uh, and I bought it second hand from eBay from someone who'd messed it up. So I don't know quite what they did. Apparently the saw didn't run, so I guess it had another problem, but it's very cheap just to get this going. Bit of an experiment, bit of a play for me. It was a cheap way of grinding on cylinders. Um, so yeah, she's now got a highway pop-up 272XP piston in. When she's cooled back down, I'll measure the compression, but this saw never had crazy compression. And it's definitely got more compression now. Um, I need to check, I need to have a look at a torch, because I think because this piston's higher now, there's a chance it's covering up the transfers or it's not fully uncovering the transfers. So what I've seen people do is angle the top of the piston crown down so it keeps those transfers uncovered. Uh, I did have a little look and it does, it doesn't quite go to the bottom. It's only a mil or something off the bottom of the exhaust when it opens, but yeah, she runs. So I'm gonna put some more fuel through this. Definitely seems revier, that, that 15 gram lighter this piston is, remember. Um, definitely seems to rev more and rev fresher so hopefully in the next tank or two she'll bed in a little bit and um, and we'll see maybe we'll run it back against the 365 which this was about three seconds in a, in a 15 16 second cut this was about three seconds slower wasn't it so let's see if it's got the same or faster but anyway yeah fun, fun playing hope you enjoyed it uh, yeah, stick around for the next one. Let me know what you think. What are your experiences of 372 Big Balls? Are they worth it or not at all? Uh, yeah, speak to you soon. Thanks for watching, everyone.